Once you have your lights assembled, the next step is starting to place your lights. We recommend using a rubber mallet when you have a good ground stake and pounding that in to really get that light nice and stable so that it doesn't get knocked over or banged up down the road. Once you've got your light installed, the next step is going around and placing your wire at every fixture. Be sure to leave extra wire at every fixture just in case you need to make future changes. The next step is stripping your wire and getting it ready to wire. It can very easily be done using wire cutters or wire strippers and then wiring your fixtures using waterproof gel filled connections. This is very important because cheap connections will lead to all kinds of problems down the road. These are called BVS2 snap lock connectors or very easy to use. They're gel filled and hold the wires together nice and strong so that you're not having to repair wires on a year to year basis. Another good option is something called a DBRY connection. Also used if you have to tee off or splice into your wire, definitely use these. It comes in two parts, a marette that holds the wires tight and then a gel filled tube to keep them waterproof. Please stay away from the do it yourself uh, wire connectors that you see at your Home Depots and Canadian tires that pierce the wire because when you pierce the wire there's just that much more chance that you're gonna have errors down the road. A question I get asked all the time is how do I know what size transformer to use? Very simply add up the wattage of all the lights on your project. If you're using a 5 watt light and you've got 10 of them that's a total of 50 watts. A general rule of thumb is to size your transformer 20% larger than what you actually need. So if you need 50 watts total, sizing it 20% larger, you would want to use a 60 watt transformer or larger. This is an example of a Kitchler transformer that comes with a photocell to turn your lights on and off with dusk and dawn, as well as a simple and very, to use, very easy to use timer. Once you've selected your transformer, the next step is hooking up and wiring all your lights to the transformer and you usually find two taps on the bottom, one for a common connection and one for a 12 volt or 15 volt connection. Wire those in, mount your transformer, plug it into your GFCI receptacle, turn it on and you're good to go. If you want to easily make, turn your transformer into a Wi-Fi transformer, we highly recommend using the Weon Outdoor Wi-Fi Timer. Just basically plug your transformer into it and set your timer and you're good to go. And the final step, once you know all your lights are working, is burying the wire. By making a small trench with a flat-ended shovel, pushing the wire down six to eight inches, stomping everything down nice and clean, and you're done.